Welcome to another video about Mad Games Tycoon 2. Are you enjoying the game? I decided to make this video because a couple of times I saw people face the problem that employees in their studio keep quitting. That is of course frustrating and makes it difficult to run the studio. In this video, I'm going to tell you 3 things you can do to solve this problem once and for all. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, my name is iSimulate. I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. So if you are also a simulation game lover, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any content. Okay, let's get started. The first key to keeping your employees happy is to provide them with a good working environment. There are a couple of elements to this. When you decorate an office, say the development office, make sure you put heating to keep the workplace warm and comfortable. Next to that, put a water dispenser and a plant to tend to people's other needs. Nobody likes an office that is not clean. To keep the office clean, place trash cans around and get a Sputnik robot to do the cleaning when someone does make a mess. It is a good idea to place heating also along the corridors so that people don't feel cold when they are taking a break. And a bench would be nice. Your staff can have a place to sit when they need a break. Don't forget the medical cabinet in case someone unfortunately gets sick. Make sure you have enough toilets so that your employees don't have to queue up and get frustrated. We all know how annoying this is. Equip the office with objects that can keep people motivated. These include cabinets, TV, posters, and carpets. Let's say you have made your studio nice and cozy. That is fantastic, but a good working environment does not stop your staff's motivation from dropping. It only slows down the process. As time goes by, your staff still becomes less and less motivated. What you should do next is to look at your employee settings. Here, you can control how many bricks, how much pressure you want to give your employees, when they should regenerate their motivation, and when the crunch time starts. When you start a new game, this motivation recharge from is defaulted to 40. That is definitely too low. My recommendation is to increase this to 70%, so that some measures will kick in when someone only has 70% motivation left. We will come back to this later in this video. Crunch time is the duration when nobody can take a break until the task is completed. Again, the more you push your employees, the quicker they become demotivated. My recommendation is to set this to 95%. Now, you are probably wondering what happens when someone's motivation drops to 70%. Assuming you set the motivation recharge from to 70% like we discussed. Here comes the third point. You need to give your staff some means to regenerate their motivation. The keyboard in the lounge has a 5 star power in terms of motivation regeneration. This arcade cabinet comes in second with 4 stars. It is important your office has enough keyboards or arcade cabinets the more people there are in the building, the more of these objects you will need. Okay guys, I hope this video has been useful. This really worked for me and nobody has quit my studio so far. Let me know in the comments below how this goes for you. Also let me know if you have any questions or any other tips. Consider giving this video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button if you like the content. I will see you next time, and until then, enjoy Mad Games Tycoon 2.